You got you got a minute to listen to a track real quick. Um, you got I could Spotify throw it on the, yeah, I can throw it on the um on my computer. Pull up Toby Reality. His his joint called Reality, and just listen to the words, bro. What does his last name start with? Uh, N. Nah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Happy Friday. Oh, nice shirt. Mine is oh, better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to show love for my boy, <laughs> man. <laughs> but I'm mad, bro. I ain't got one. You do have one. Hmm. Oh, shit. Let me go get it real quick. <laughs> Damn it, Toby. What the fuck did he say? Something reality. I am blanking right now because I'm running a little too bit late. Okay. Well, I'm going to go with saying I don't have time. So is it just us three this time? Um, it's not supposed to. It's supposed to be my homegirl, but uh, the one I was on last time. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, I wanted to bring something up. We didn't get a chance to talk about it. Uh, yeah. you gave me a screw face, and I kind of feel you. I'm probably going to agree with what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I misspoke. I'm um, saying it. Uh, young and May. What was that? I, I made the I made the comment of saying that she was lyrical. Like I like her because of her lyrical ability. And you kind of gave a, a weird look, and you never touched on it. Like you gave it a look like you disagreed with what I was saying. Like she can rap. I'm trying to remember. My bad, bro. I got no, oh, not, another one not, I pulled up. Oh no, Better. no, you you were high. <laughs> well, I can't Better. see shit. How do you oh, put everybody up on the screen at the same time? Or do you control that? Uh are you on your phone or are you like on your on my phone? I was gonna say the same thing. I think you swipe. You think you keep swiping right, I believe. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. All right. The cushion's good for something. <laughs> like a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, that's that's what I meant to tell them too. Pretty much everybody has their their own little vice, but I know you you're at, you're at home with the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got them locked up in the back, bro. I I was gonna gag them, but I figured they, that might be bad. Just do what I do when uh when I used to babysit them. Been a drill. What, them like Kevin Hart. Been not being that tall. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. But no, um, good. What I was going to say was, uh, yeah, the conversation was, um, we was talking about female rappers, and I brung her up because I felt like we just kept saying, like, the more popular female rappers. And when I said that I felt like, um, I felt like she was a lyrical rapper, you kind of gave that a look like you disagreed. Oh, we no, I agree. Uh, I agree. Young M.A. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. Okay. Nah, yeah, it just we yeah. for whatever. I think what it was was um they took the conversation somewhere else, and I just wasn't able to get back to it because what they were saying, I was like, oh no, I can't let that go. <laughs> hey, you, you ever listen to this New York uh, female rapper named Beans? Oh yeah, I fuck with her. I love her. Yo, Beans goes in, bro. Her tag, well, her tag is Beans Got Bars. She was what we was talking about last episode that was going against con uh, um, Conceited or whatever his name is. No, no, no. No, it was uh, that light flawless. skin dude. Flawless, yeah. Flawless, flawless yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. He still battle? Oh, well. No, no, no. It was on uh, that show Rhythm and It Flow. was on Netflix. Yeah. It was uh, Cardi B, Chance the Rapper, T.I. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never, yeah, I never finished watching that. So when y'all was talking about the last part, I, I felt bad because I was like, I really wanted to watch the show, 
but I just felt like it wasn't authentic. Nah, it, like, I, like, I it felt definitely like wasn't. All, it was like one of the best battles. Say again? I say it, it, I agree with you. One, that battle and maybe two other ones were the only ones that were authentic like. That's the thing. Like, I, never I, I never even made it to a battle. Uh, I think like when I, I think I'm probably watched like two episodes. You already said hi. Go like ahead. they were still introducing them, telling a backstory, and yeah. then they would do I think it was like two rappers per episode. They did their 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 backstory and then they performed at the end. And I think they went head up. Mm-hmm. Whoever had they performed the best and that's the person to move forward. But I never, I never made it to when it was battling because I was just like, well, you can already tell like this person was handpicked to win. So, or like two or three people, these are the people that's gonna be at the end. Everybody else is just entertainment purposes. The dude who won, I didn't even expect to win. I thought Flawless was gonna take it, just because he already had a, a whole following. But this other dude ended up winning. And, like, Beans would have been in until the end. But the two best, to me, two best rappers went head-to-head. And How's Fla- my- was Flaw- is Flawless already established? Because that yeah. name sounds familiar. Yeah, Flawless has been around for about was- eight years now, bro. Because I started, I started thing, following right? him. Say what? He was on that, um, fuck. Where it was like it was all it was always a bunch of freestyle rappers. They weren't battling, but they had, they had their chance on the mic. Fuck. Somebody it, put it, me it, on him back in I think thirteen when I was at camp. You put me on him. Yeah. It, it was something on YouTube. It was a channel on YouTube. Can you hear this? Can I hear the music in the background? Yeah, it sounds like reading Rainbow. <laughs> no, I can't hear it. Can't hear it. Okay, not yeah, I'm here. Hey, I get the bass. All right, hold on. I'm just trying to. You turn my shit up, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. I turned it down because I wanted to be in the background while we're talking. Because yeah. I wanted to edit tonight and want the music to be too loud. But let me know when it gets too loud for you guys. Okay, I can hear loud it now. For me. I can. I think I can turn down my my headset. No, what I can turn it down. I just want to have it. I'm talking about for me, like when I play it back, when I do the editing and stuff, when I yeah. do the audio mixing, I gotta have it down a certain level sonically because people listen to it on spotify and i wanted to be like oh, i couldn't hear what you guys are saying and then <laughs> right uh, all right this is my homeboy his name is he's from north carolina his name is no i'm not i'm talking about no i'm talking about the, this uh the music oh the background. <laughs> I, I, was, I was really about to be offended like oh man see i was gonna use this as a clip for promo for my guy but now since oh, you want to fuck see, it up you, you didn't okay. say nothing all right now nah, i'll shut up i was trying to make it look organic you know how the best ones to make it seem like the fakey shit be like the most realest scenario so i'm trying to make it raw and like oh it's real i just came up with it like naturally just like oh by the way check out my guy's stuff you know hey he's just he's just mad he's not from georgia bro <laughs> that's all it is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's proud of that temp collection for sure okay. yeah I almost made that the backdrop today <laughs> you should have it's definitely a lot okay uh, alright so I'll just probably promo this in the beginning but yeah he's in North Carolina he's a soldier of mine and, uh, and when I was at Stewart oh, well not one of my soldiers but he was one of the new ones when I got to Fort Stewart pretty dope so he turned his life around he could have been doing a whole bunch of other crazy shit so he's producing music so i'm getting some love did carnage do all his beats yes he does all his beats okay yeah but his next joint he's gonna do he's gonna have other producers but he probably won't even drop that till next year why no, you, you know what? Yeah, we had that conversation. Yeah, that's how he moves, man. He does music when it hits him. He don't, he don't like forcing it. I can't, I can't even say nothing. I'm the same way. Well, not musically, of course. Right. Yeah, of course. 
All right, so wait a couple more guests, and then we should be well. This it kind of sucks because, like, like I said, I didn't watch the uh, verses, but I said that on last pod. I was like, I'm not gonna watch it. We don't tell the story. I missed it. What's that? I missed like, oh, shit. I missed. It. I had to go back and rewatch it. I watched Bro, it. It was, it was easy to miss. The shit didn't start until an hour and a half late. That was crazy. So I got a crazy story. This is probably like probably a pre pro tale. But anyway, so I was I knew it was coming on. I knew it was coming on at eight. But I had to get picked up some weed, obviously, because I was out. <laughs> so I hit up the I hit up the plug and then he was like, Hey, meet me here, or whatever. So obviously it already started. So I was like, all right, well, give me like 15 minutes. You know, I had to get my wallet, get my gad in my step and go. It wasn't starting, so I was good. So I was like, I could probably leave it on while I'm driving, but I was like, I really don't care. So go pick it up. And I'm going, well, I'm going to the wrong spot. You went to the right spot where he's at. And by this time, I'm, I could have swore I was like a 15 minute lapse, but I guess it was like a two hour lapse because when I listened, I was like seeing people tweet about the shit and I was like, it's towards the end already? So I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? So I went on Apple Music and tried to listen to it. So I ended up catching like the last litty, like the last 15 minutes. So I was like, what the fuck happened? Yo, I could have swore. And like, I was speeding on the fucking, speeding on 85. I was speeding on 285 to get to that fucking spot. <laughs> but all in all, when I rewatched it, I was trying to do what I knew she was going to do. And really yeah yeah right i mean okay well no no no. Opinion. i mean i thought i thought, the yeah, same, I thought that's who was gonna win but i don't know i just uh i just and felt like uh no disrespect to keisha though because I, I love keisha. yeah i love her music but i just think to me but with these verses i think it's all about your placement too because you can have the hottest song but if it's in the wrong spot or you pick the wrong round to drop that or it's like you know what I'm saying like sometimes yeah, you can yeah. lose that round like we've seen that with Fab and Jada you know what I'm saying they like Fab had like th- those records he played were like trash it was just like bro. and bro I was so mad at that battle too bro cause Man. I'm a huge Fab fan yeah and I know I mean I I kinda I don't know I always in the back of my mind I always thought that if that was to happen I think Fab would get the best of them but I don't know man that that verse is a whole different beast. It's a whole well, different beast when you get up there. Swiss Beast was talking about that after the whole Keisha Cole thing on IG Live. He was saying, like, it's not just, oh, we just pick two people together and you go battle. Like, nah, you got to rehearse. You got to make sure the sound audio, all that stuff is right. You got to make sure that you pick your song selection is right. You got to make, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. And it's kind of hard because you can't, only, they ain't like they sitting there watching the response on IG Live or watching Twitter. So, like, you kind of got to go out the vibe of the room. And then more, more likely it's gonna be the vibe. Of you. It's gonna be your people, so they are gonna think you won either way, even if you're losing. <laughs> That's what you get paid to do. <laughs> I would do it. I would be a yes man all day. See, that's that's why I like how it started, bro. Because that that Nelly and um the Nelly and Luda one it, when it was just them. Yeah. That shit was dope. I mean, even though Nelly yeah. internet fucking like, sucked, but yeah, that was a dope one. Like I said, I, it was funny. Because of the internet stuff, the Nelly joint, but I think that was a dope one too, and I, yeah. I loved it because it, I think Luda finally got the flowers he deserved. Oh yeah, a lot of people sleep on uh, Luda, like big time. That's true. Yeah. So, but yeah, I thought you know she did what she came to do. I knew it. I predicted it. You know, saying it is what it is. You know. I guess because off the top of my head, bro, I couldn't name ten Ashanti songs. That I, I forgot a bunch. Man, I forgot. Yeah. I knew she had more than Keisha, but like solo joints, I couldn't think. Yeah. Of 10 okay. Of the yeah. Because I was thinking about that today when when you sent the subjects, I was like, "Fuck, I missed it." But then I was just like, "Well, I know I never really listened to Keisha Cole like that, but I remember Ashanti. But I only remember Ashanti from uh." Not Rough Riders. Uh, Murder Inc. Murder Inc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, damn, did she ever have any solo albums? I know she did, but... Oh, she had that first one <laughs> with Murder Inc., bro. And all the all the tracks that I can think of are off that album. Anything after that, bro, I can't think. She got to think about it. Like, and that's, that's why I love when she started playing the Jailer records and stuff, because 
she was writing back then for J-Lo and yeah. stuff. And then she came into her own, and then she did Foolish, and then she had Unfoolish, which I love that flip when they did that. Um, Unfoolish is the one with the biggie race on there. Hard. Yeah. Okay. I was about to say, damn, that sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super, super. Oh. When you do like the whole beat flip, oh my goodness, it's killer. You um, remember that uh, the track that she had where she had Terrence Howard in the video? Where uh, I guess he had been cheating on her or something like that. Oh, I love that song. I love that song. She, she, yeah, she I love the song, but I can't remember it. It's called Don't Let Them. Yeah. Yeah, I love that song. I was just listening to that earlier. I was probably one of, I was waiting for that one for her to drop that yeah. one. I remember that, you know, because she, she sung that song, like, you know, in the beginning of that first, that, what's it like, the, like, kind of like, it's kind of like the boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And it's like, it brought me back because I was 14 when that song came out, right? So, like, I remember, like, where I was and what I was doing back then. I remember, like, it just brought me back to, like, the girls with that time, the shit I was doing, just being a dumbass 14 year old boy. And just not yeah, respect but that thing. I was still with my wife. J. Cole released. <laughs> I was still album. doing I was doing dirt, but I was definitely still with my wife. <laughs> that was crazy. I was just like, I remember I remember that I remember the uh song she did. The first one she did was uh I actually liked this the one with Aurelius. It's like only you with the guitar rip. Yep. yep. And I was like, okay, okay, Shanti, all right. And then she did drop that one, and I was like, oh, okay, I might have to check this album out. She it's was like, always talented. I thought she got a. I thought she got a raw deal fucking with Ja Rule. I think somebody else could have could have got her out there better. I think so. I think they, I think I think it's kind of beneficial for both of them. I think I think well, she's a star regardless. I think she would have went somewhere. I don't know oh, yeah. if she, if she would went further or as far as she did with Murder Inc. with anyone else. I don't know. Because once I mean her. once Murder Inc. fell off, bro. She was off and on, and then just off. Yeah. But then you got to, yeah, but you're right. Yeah, I see but, what you're saying. That makes sense because okay. when they got tied up on that legal stuff. Yeah. Nobody could really put out music. Put out music. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was. I felt like she would have been on a more stable label, bro. She would have been dropping tracks well after that. She got a uh, yeah, like who she got a new joint now. She could she could have went with Epic. She could have went with, not with Warner because Warner, boy, Lord Jesus. Yeah, but I mean, who would she would have been been under though? Ha- I mean, having that that hip hop rap type of feel to it. She could have been on Def Jam. That's yeah. right. That's in the same family. Murder because right there. So, so Def Jam. no, no. So so, so what I'm saying is like as far as it can't. Or are you just saying she just should have been signed to? She just she she should have just came out as a solo act. Yeah, she, she's a solo act. Do you think? I mean, she, think, she came out as solo. It's just Ja Rule was on everything that she had. Yeah, but that I know that's main, what I'm that saying. That was the main thing people were saying about the battle. They were saying, "Oh, she keep bringing out these Ja Rule records," but they were big records, and I think that. Yeah. yeah I think she really made those records too, just as much as he did. You know. Oh yeah. So was she a solo act before, or did she yeah. come out? She always been solo. Yeah, she was always no. solo. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All those right. songs we talk about is like we were saying like. She should have been signed like to Murder Inc. Yeah, the features, her features. Yeah, she came out like was Jaru her and Jaru heavy. Like every time, that's her big thing. Then she yeah, I think foolish. they got like three straight tracks mm-hmm. where it was them two together. She had the Fat and Joe joint. Three. Yeah, yeah, she was on the feature game. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm saying it wrong, or maybe I'm misunderstanding what y'all are saying. What what I'm saying is like, yeah, she was a solo act, but she was a solo act under a camp. Kind of like yeah. like you look at Cash Money, everybody, not Cash Money, uh, Young Money. Everybody that was in Young Money was like solo acts, but they was under a camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. The, but the she main, under- but the top three stars that you knew them as solo acts, but everybody mm-hmm. else was considered to be uh, Young Money. So like, when I think of Ashanti, well, I think of Murder Inc. Murder Inc. I don't think of Ashanti as a solo act. I well, see her as. Her they just had a female on a rap on a hook, and they, this was like an awesome singer that could do it. Oh, you yeah. should go back and listen to her then. She's wrong. Think, think about it like like Young Money. You remember when Nicki first came out? How mm-hmm. either Drake or Lil Wayne was on her her tracks? Okay, yeah, yeah. So that that's it's the same thing. Ja Rule was pushing her to be a yeah, solo a look, but he was using his name to get more of a to get her out there. Yeah. That was my initial pushback, but I was like, I don't know because I say I feel like they both benefited from those collabs that they did, you know. 
So do you think Ashanti won just because of the production of the music or you didn't like the content of Keisha Cole's music? Because uh, my, my understanding Keisha Cole was a little more... She was 100% solo. Yeah. No, 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 no. What, what I'm saying is like... He wasn't big like on what the music, What the music was about. For oh, like, neither, I mean, neither, like, neither, neither. I think Ashanti okay. was because, like I was saying before, like uh, I think song okay. selection... Oh, I want to get into this on the podcast. Hopefully, I guess can come in. But yeah, um, I can I can edit this out. But like, pretty much like song selection, and then, well, I, I mean, we could use pre-pro tales. But, uh, like song selection for on Keisha Cole's side, like she has those joints. Like I when I said when I early when they first announced this last year, I was just saying that I got a shot because just shitting on Keisha. Like I love Keisha. I listen to Keisha. Uh, I obviously got way more Shanti songs than the Keisha songs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm just talking about when I look at these battles, I understand what they are and I see what they are. And I just knew that even Keisha's biggest record, I think that Ashanti got like three or four of those. Regardless of how, and then the thing people were saying was like, oh, well, if you're doing a record with Ja Rule, whatever like that. But I mean, she still got paid off those records. Right. Oh, people yeah, she people remember the records. Record. But she made those records too, just as much as he did. So she take yeah. like them JLo records too. The same thing. Like Keisha, she, Keisha Cole, I think she wrote for Mary or something like that. I'm not sure, but she was a writer too. You know what I'm saying? But and she has dope songs, but she's never, to me, in my personal opinion, she right. never had she had had those joints where I feel like she can pull up in a battle. Like she can do it, but maybe not against somebody like Ashanti. She probably Ashanti. Could do someone, maybe like somebody like Tierra Marie. Her or, all of her tracks were kind of the same to me. Keisha Cole, they were always that that break up broken yeah, heart that's, that's, song. that's what i was getting to and a lot of people like at first bro everybody was vibing with her because i mean her voice is amazing yeah absolutely it got redundant when ashanti was switching it up she was doing them love songs she was doing the upbeat joints so i mean i guess that to me that's why she won mm, I respect that. okay i definitely see that it's my side of things but i was looking i was like dang because it's like it's kind of like it's not like just like the Jay and uh, the Fabulous and Jay the thing, but it was similar in that sense. I was like, damn, if she would have put this here, then maybe it would look different. There were some rounds where I felt like Ashanti kind of slacked like towards later on, but by the end, it was, in my opinion, it was, it was over. over. <laughs> so I was like, all right, it was like a mercy call, twenty one skunk or some shit. Yeah, so. <laughs> but I, I like the fact that they show love to each other, and you know, they were just respectful, big on like the whole women empowerment and stuff. I really, really like that because I was like, okay, it wasn't overdone. You know what I'm saying? But it was the point where it's a, they drove it home. Like, all right, it's about women empowerment. Let's support each other, but we come here to do a job. You know? So, okay. Yes, you know. Damn, I didn't think we was going to dive that deep into it. I know. <laughs> I know. Especially for three... No, you said you watched it though, right, bro? I mean, I watched some of it, yeah. Okay. You know, I still got to be up at five in the morning, so I took my ass to sleep, man. I always watch that stuff. That's it. I feel like when it comes to stuff like that, I live for that stuff. Like verses. Uh, oh yeah, bro. I love the verses. Who who y'all looking forward to one day them having a versus battle? This won't happen. But Beyonce and Rihanna. Yeah. That'd be a dope one. Mm-hmm. Brother, growing up in the time period that we did, bro, and I, I thought this was funny. What if they did one with NSYNC and Backstreet Boys? Yo, I seen someone on IG Live post that too on uh, Swiss's thing. They was like, go ahead and do In Sync and Backstreet Boys. And then you can do Britney and Christina Aguilera. Yeah. yeah. That opened up a whole new venue. Bro, that'd be, that'd yeah. be a whole new door. Yeah. Cause we could just have like, I mean, not to say it's a racist way, we can have like the white folks battle and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So we could do like, you know, Justin Timberlake, Justin Bieber. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could just. <laughs> They can get some money out this. That'd be unfair, bro. <laughs> Battle of the Justice? Yeah. Yo, nah. JT I, well, kill him. Yeah, he would. He would. Okay. He would. But I mean, he's he's young. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but yeah. I just think, I don't know. I just thought it'd be funny. Like, But that would be dope. It'd, it'd be, be dope. dope. Yeah. I would love to see uh, uh, once everything opens up, like a fucking tour of that shit. Yeah, that's oh cool. yeah. Like, yeah, like, and maybe, cool. maybe not. Like, everybody goes across America and battle, but like, you can do like regional joints or whatever, mm-hmm. so they can 
they can almost like kind of set it up to like do a petition with the fans and like who do you want to see from your you know what I'm saying from, well not even just your city I'm saying like just like a region so like okay. break America into like you know the three zones or whatever like that yeah That's or dark. or maybe even not even just two time zones like time zone and who was in your era because it's just like because I don't feel like nobody from like the Texas area would want to go against each other like that yeah but I could see yeah. them well, it's, it's friendly somebody. competition though at the same time yeah, yeah but, but I feel like but I feel like some of them maybe not like I mean once 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 you start coming into like more recent times yeah, 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 yeah it's gonna be a little bit it's gonna be a lot more competitive yeah for sure but I think it's fun I think it's something that's good for the culture I, I, I definitely would love to see that I would love to see that but I think that's what they're gonna do anyway once they open back up they're gonna start doing these shows and venues where they're like alright we'll have this person this person on stage in this arena Man, let's go this versus thing was a goal of mine especially during the pandemic when people was locked oh, yeah. up in the house anyways man I remember we which one was it I think it may have been the, the Luda and the Nelly one bro we went and got something to eat real quick came back to the house turned the TV off mm-hmm. it's an event off, we just put the phone up and listened to it all the way through yep that's what's up I do that every I'm time like, Imagine if they do it with somebody like T.I., Wayne, Jay-Z, like the heavy, like real heavy hitters, right? The real, real, real ones. There's a couple of good ones. Like the T.I., G- I mean, the Gucci, Jeezy one was a good one. Yeah, that was I good like, one. I like the Snoop and DMX one, even though they did my boy DMX wrong. They should have put him as versus Snoop. They should have yeah. like Snoop versus, like, he got to be somebody like, versus, like Dr. Dre or yeah. something. Yeah. That's Snoop Doggy Dog, bro. He been he been on he had a hit in it, at least in every decade for like forty years. You know what's funny? Like I was like I was the opposite of what the outcome was gonna be. Like I felt like Snoop, take it? Yeah, I felt I felt like X was gonna take it. But I'm a, I was an mm-hmm. X fan. I was never I never really listened to Snoop like that. Right. But then when he- I watched like people previewing it or whatever, like saying um, who they thought was gonna win, and everybody kept saying Snoop, and then they started bringing up tracks, and I was just like, "Yeah." yeah. Even if yeah. you don't listen to Snoop, bro, like, like he says, Snoop got three to four hits in every era. Every time you turn around, you hear him. He got a video. He got a song yeah. on the radio. I remember, I remember in high school when he dropped that joint when it was like, uh, it was in all black and white in the video. And uh, drop it like a top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I was like, and at that time, bro, I thought Snoop was already old, and Snoop yeah. was still dropping bangers. Yeah. Snoop is the the black. Uh, what's what's my man's name? Uh, the dude that keep the smoke weed, still smoke weed. Oh, he like Willie nice. Nelson. Yeah, yeah, he's a he's a fucking oh, yeah. black Willie Nelson. He's our Willie Nelson. He's he's our black Cheech or Chong. Right. You remember the track he he dropped with uh Pharrell, uh where that motherfucker was singing? Beautiful. I love yeah. that. Beautiful. I love that video. I I couldn't wait for one of Sisson Park and TRL oh. and I could see that video board up. I was like, bro, I gotta go to Brazil one day. I yeah. got to go. That's why I was like, DMX had a bunch of hits, but he only had hits in in one era, bro. It was unfair. Yeah. yeah. But the one thing I, I, I give to X is and they, I, it was a conversation they had on the Clubhouse. That's this app they do where these celebrities get on. And they I gotta get on there. It's it's Discord for celebrities, bro. We got it with Discord. Well, no, no, no. I got no. I got some. Oh, you got an invite? Friends. Yeah. Well, yeah. So oh, like excuse that. me, then. Oh, my, my bad. All right. Wow. <laughs> Press of a celebrity here. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you need to get on it. That's a good networking thing, bro. Yeah. But either way, they'll talk about how. Um, talking about Jay's prominence and stuff, and they were saying that at the time there was some because I say a lot of people they were saying like Biggie and Pocket drifted out of people's top fives and stuff as time grew on because they died so young, and then people hailed Jay Z so much because they was like, oh, he was on top at they died, but then there were a whole bunch of people like the I mean like uh, Just Blaze and stuff like that, and um, I can't remember who else, Crooked Eye. They were saying like, hey. DMX, like you remember, like they were saying that what they say, uh, Pac died what 96, 97? 
96. Yeah, late 96, 97. Yeah, and then Biggie, Biggie died in 97, right? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. They were saying that Reasonable Doubt came out what? 98, 99? 97? 97, 98. 97, all right. They were saying he didn't really get big. They said people didn't catch on to him until volume two, right? Which is true. In my lifetime, volume two. You know what I'm saying? Nah. He had the, he had the Annie joint and the H the Izzo, like that volume two. Like that was when people really caught on. They were saying DMX, DMX, M. What? Like these were the guys, like in that era, did we talk about that pop era, or whatever? Though DMX was the guy. Well, yeah, because DMX, I think he's the only rapper to have two platinum albums in, in one year. year. Yeah. Yeah. But nah, like, nah, Jay's Jay first album, that was considered a classic. Yeah. yeah. But not uh, at that like, time. Okay, it, it, said, no, no, it, at that time. At that time, like, it, motherfuck- said, it was even number one when it came out. Well, okay, okay. Well, maybe at the and I don't want to disrespect Ho. Before, before he even goes maybe, where maybe, this maybe. direction, I'm not disrespecting him. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. I'm not saying, I'm saying like maybe more like for someone that, someone like me that was a big fan at the time yeah. and for him to be gone, like who do I immediately latch on to? Like, will it be an X? Is X that close to, who's closer to the big, X or J, sonically speaking? J. J. So it was like I feel I felt like the majority of the, the big fans gravitated towards Jay right. at that time. Okay, well, how much how much that. how much the life at the death sale, right? It was it, so it went down, right? So let's just say at that yeah. time, ten million copies, right? Reasonable yeah. doubt did not sell ten million copies <laughs> that well, first his first week. Okay. I think he did yeah. made it, you know he made it like a buck like at that time. Trying to do some adjustment. At that time, it kind of considered like a bust. I think we, we don't want to know about balls, man. <laughs> about the camera. I think at the time, oh. I think Reasonable Doubt is um the one how he got his uh, Columbia deal, and he ended up getting the Rockefeller deal with uh, Def Jam. I, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's, it's under Rockefeller. No, 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 it is. No. But I'm talking about he was signed to I think Columbia before he was signed to Def Jam with the Rockefeller deal, whatever like that. That's that's the whole thing. You're talking about after the rock fell apart? No, I'm no, talking way before in the, in, the, in the beginning. Remember, he was with Jazzo. He had this yeah, song yeah. Hawaii Sophie, right? Cool. He got our head a deal, right? Reasonable Doubt came out, right? Cool. You right. had the big feature, whatever, like that. It didn't do that well. If I'm not mistaken, I, if correct me if I'm wrong, but he was signed to Columbia then, right? Cool. Yeah. The Rockefeller deal, no, the, the Rockefeller deal with Def Jam was afterwards. He used okay. that album, the sales off that album, to get okay. that partnership deal with Def Jam. Rockefeller was already itself, but it wasn't what it was at that time. It was just him. It was him and Dane. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. So I'm just saying like it didn't, it didn't equate. You know what I'm saying? So you were alive back then, obviously. You didn't jump to the, you know what I'm saying? If you did, you was probably one of the very few. A lot of people they they went over to the Eminem's, the Nellies, the DMX's, you know, and, well, the, and okay, the boy bands. So- Oh, okay, so it was a mix back then, but like I really didn't get into X for pro- probably not until like his second album, like that. But so I'm just saying, like for me personally, and then the people that I was around was more into J or whatever else was out compared to X. Like nah, I, did bro, have- I didn't, I didn't really get into J. Me personally, like. I knew about it because, of course, he did songs with DMS like Money Cash and stuff like that. But yeah. to me, I feel like he was kind of riding the wave, whatever, which he does that. And, that, and like I said, I love Hope. You know, he's top five to me all the time. But that's just what he's doing. But at the same time, DMX was everything to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was everything. I'm talking about all the pushing rip. Rough Riders. Man. Man. What? Yeah, say, I, I, didn't, I didn't hop on the J until probably Blueprint. What was that? 2002? one. Wow. Mm-hmm. Blueprint okay, came well, out of well, Brentwood. Yeah. Maybe it's a regional thing then. Yeah. Cause down I mean, south, bro, a lot of people weren't really fucking with with hoes like that. Yeah. Off rip. And you gotta think about it, like they it even took they all me. came down south and fuck with us heavy. DMX was he was doing tours yeah. with Juvenile and stuff like that. That's how right. he got big. I remember when this kid moved down here, bro, because I guess he from up north. 
and he was saying Hove was the best rapper alive. Yeah, I like. I wanted to fight this thing because I was all about Jeezy, Ti. Yep. I was like, bro, yep. no way in hell. Yep. Until I stopped, bro, and I listened to the blueprint, and I was like, all right, all right, this man might be right. See, even then, like I was, I was aware of him. Like, so my story is, I'm a late bloomer. I didn't really catch on. Like, I, I fuck with Jay songs, like Money Cash shows and stuff, and yeah, and Jigga What, you know what I'm saying? But it was, it was like, all right, cool, whatever. It's like if I hear on the radio, cool. Once he dropped the Bunny and Cloud Beyonce, which is not, it's, it's a great song, but I hate that song. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that song. I, yeah, it's not. I, I seen that. Video. Video. You know how you're so mad. You know how many videos on TRL that in One Hundred Six Park that the video, great videos that that song beat for number one. I'm like, they only doing this because it's Jay Z and Beyonce. Like, oh yeah, like it was that fuck? new power couple. I'm a Jay yeah, fan, but, but even I said that they won so many awards. I'm like, the fuck? So I was off him, and he dropped the Black album. <laughs> That was crazy because 50 was like, 50 was like almost oh, yeah. hit the super peak. Right, he was skyrocketing. Yeah, and then the club was out. It was going, it's June and everything. Everybody yeah. got shot nine times. I'm wearing do-rags. It's lit, right? <laughs> so It was comparing this dude to Pop off his first album. Off his first album. Jay-Z's retiring. I go back and listen to him like, yep. oh, I'm so sorry. So that I had to go back and just go listen to everything. And I was just like, right. I could see came back like four or five. Yeah. I was like, wow. And then I was like, okay, cool. But even back then, that wasn't, but like I said, I feel like that experience was like the general public kind of thing. Maybe they called on the Black Album or Kingdom Come or Volume 2. Which you, is when you started. It's funny you keep saying Kingdom Come. That's like your third time ever saying it. I love that album, bro. Yeah, yeah, that album was dope. Dope. Fan, it was dope. That album. It's got to be a regional thing. It got to be a regional thing. Why y'all didn't y'all didn't like Kingdom Come? Like no, I mean, what? Like, when they first, like, no, no, no. So for me, I liked it because it was a different feel coming from Jay, mm, and right. then I like I liked the content throughout the whole album. But I understood it was like at the time, and it was like nobody really wanted to hear shit like that, especially coming from Jay Z, and that's why it it kind of like flopped. That's why it's like towards the bottom of his all time great. Yeah. albums or whatever but no like i feel like people go back and they listen to it it's just like nah like everything that you guys are saying is just like i'm 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 getting a better understanding on how to speak to non-jay-z fans oh yeah or i'm or a whole my- fan i'm a whole fan <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm just saying I'm I was late to the train. I'm just I'm just speaking the facts. Like I like I said, I, Fifty Cent is one of my favorite rappers of all time. Like if I talk about like the music pe- person I listen to as far as hip hop the most, I would still say Fifty Cent from like mixtapes to everything, right? But if I'm really? putting if we're like for our top twenty five, you know where he's gonna be on that list? He's gonna be pretty low. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, so I, right. I'm that fan. I'm that fan. Like you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I said, it's not a knock against these people that we you know talking about this is just a cool conversation but i'm just saying like for kingdom come bro it's like it's one of those things like but i've noticed ever since that album it's always been like that oh we don't want to hear this from jay-z they said the same thing about american gangster they said the same thing about uh magna carta they said the same thing about 444 you know what i'm saying so it's that's been a narrative since then and i was like all right whatever oh he's old he's old you know what i'm saying whatever but it's a great album because the things he was saying like the thing about Jay Z is he he gives you the gems and he's telling you where he's at in his life. Oh yeah, that, that's why people are drawn so drawn to Drake because yeah he croons and whatever and he make you want to call your ex. Yeah, make you want to call your ex, but he's always he has those songs where he's telling you where he's at in life. I, and, for I like the ones, one. and for the ones who need to hear it, they'll hear it and be like, ah, okay. Let me hear, like, when I hear Jay-Z, I'm, I'm not just hearing it because of music. I'm trying to hear, like, okay, what do I need to do next? Like, what am I doing wrong? Like, yeah. I look, because he's going to tell you his mistakes and how he recovered from it and telling you, listen, do this, like, do that, you know, buy this investments. So, it's, I know for me, it's more than that. It's more than that. It's like, it's like reading scripture, you know, damn near. So, so I'm you bring him up. Friend. I had a question that I wanted to hit you with, or maybe not a question, but to start a conversation because you sent me that fucking 50 billion book you sent me that 50 billion deal <laughs> um you know because drake is oh. the first rapper to sell i mean uh to get 50 billion streams. spotify yeah 
Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and I was thinking about it, and I was just like, oh, okay. Okay. All, right, all right. that all that conversation we just had, that's going to be a pre pro tail clip. So, yeah. I'll tag LA when I post it there. It's going to be fine. All right. But, I got to start sharing shit, too. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Bro, right, we're I'm doing fine. Shit out this. <laughs> bro, we're doing See? fine. We're doing fine, bro. I appreciate uh, it. I appreciate it.